What's up YouTube? This is me and I'm here to give a tutorial on how to um, braid your hair. Um, the first thing I did was buy some hair. This is Kankalon. I use Kankalon hair. And this is actually Marley braid hair. This is the type of hair that you would use if you want to do kinky twist. So the first step is to get some synthetic hair. Um, and then I take a cup of vinegar, any type of vinegar, I happen to have apple cider vinegar, um, and put this hair in a sink full of hot water and um, put, it, put the vinegar in there and then let this soak for about at least 15 minutes at least. Um, what this does is it takes the alkaline base off of the hair. And this is pretty much a repeat off of the Afro Grow Afro Hair Long .com. What's up to y'all? Little plug for y'all. Um, this is pretty much just a ditto of that site. But this is a video made by request by someone. Anyways, let's keep it rolling. So, my hair dried, clean and dry. I have a gel that I'm going to braid with. Um, you can use this. This is a lock twist gel by Organics. Um, I actually started out with aloe vera gel, which also works well. Aloe vera gel, 100% aloe vera. This brand just happens to be fruit of nature. Um, fruit of the earth, I mean. And I just use aloe vera gel. And so, I'm just going to go by feel and show you. I at least wanted about a size that's about an inch by an inch by an inch you see that's about an inch right here of hair because you don't want it to be too small because that's when it starts to snag and you'll break your hair off especially on your edges so let's go into the actual braiding of the hair <laughs> step three braiding the hair <laughs> okay after you completed step one getting the hair and cleaning it step two getting the gel now it's time for step three actually braiding the hair now this is about an inch of hair. Yeah, I can also do a little check to see the length, check on that line. Bam, check out that line, you gotta love it. Okay, I'm gonna take some gel, some aloe vera gel. Just take a little bit of aloe vera gel and I smooth it onto my hair. I just pretty much cover the hair. A lot of people like to flat iron their hair and stuff before they braid it, but I don't because I've been doing really good. I haven't put heat in my hair since I've had it um, natural, and I don't intend to put any heat on it. I like to take a little bit of gel. This is just me, and I like to put a little bit on the on this hair. If you're using a type of hair that doesn't have ends like this, and it's like um it's that really straight hair like if you're doing regular braids that pony braids you need to pull this end of the hair a little bit so that they're uneven and so that they're staggered that's what you're going to do if you were not using marley braid so what i'm going to do with the marley braid is show you how i start my braid this is the gelled up piece of hair and all i do is drape it over See how I just draped it over? This helps that it's red. It's just draped over. And I have it, you know, about even at the end. About even at the end. It's not that big a deal if it's not perfect because it doesn't have to be perfect. Imperfection is what makes us beautiful, right, people? Anyways, I draped it over. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to braid the hair. So the first step is to drape it. Second step is this piece of hair. This is my left. If you're holding it in your hand, it's your left. To you, it's your right right now. You're gonna take this piece of hair and put it down in the middle. And you're gonna naturally start braiding. Your piece of hair should have been on the far right and now you're putting it in the middle. You're taking the hair from the left, putting it in the middle. And you're gonna take the hair from the right and put it in the middle, hair from the left, put it in the middle. Now it all depends on you how long you want to braid it. Um, if you want to braid all the way down, some people they're just going to want to braid their hair 
all the way down. So I'm going to show what you do if you just want to braid it all the way down and not twist it all the way down. Braid. So this is a braid. Now we have a braid. Now my hair is getting very short as you can see. If you can see my hair is getting very very short. You see that little thing? That's my hair. So now what I'm going to do is steal a little bit from this side. It's going to be kind of hard to show you because this is not the type of hair to be braiding with. This is the type of hair to be twisting with. So it's going to be a little, I guess you want to say the word nappy if you want to. It's going to be a little nappy. See how it's a little nappy at the ends because I would, I would have just kept the two strands the way they were. But this is what we're going to do. This is the hair. This hair in the middle is now merging with my hair. I hope you can see. I hope this is helpful. That's my hair right there in the middle. That little piece. My hair was in the middle and now I'm putting with it this weave and now I'm just going to continue to braid because like I said my hair was in the middle and so the next step in, step in a braid is to take the hair from the side and put it over the hair in the middle. So that's all I'm going to do. And I'm probably just going to sit here and braid this all the way down. Okay, for demonstration's purposes, I'm going to stop right now because <laughs> it's going to take all day just to show you because I'm just, I'm not in the flow of braiding it. But you can say this is a braid. This is a nice little braid. Now this will look lovely like all over my head. A whole bunch of little braids. This will look lovely. But as you can see, there's ends. And you can either decide to burn the ends, which would leave it with a nice hard tip a little bit. A lot of people like to dip the ends. They get a rod, put the hair on the rod, and dip it in boiling hot water. And that will seal the ends that way. Or you could just dip them in straight. That's why you use the pony hair, because it'd be nice and straight. But, um, so as you can see, I braided it. But it's not too tight. See, it's like it's loose a little bit. I didn't want to do it too tight because you don't want to hurt your, your hair. I didn't do it too tight. But as you can see, it's seamlessly my hair mixed in with the weave. Seamlessly. Really? You kind of can't really even see where it got mixed in at. But there's my braid. Instead of braiding, instead of braiding with this Marley hair, it's really good for kinky twist.